Hello everyone. Who's out there? Who's the first one? <laughs> Hello David. Oregon. A place close to my heart. That's where I went to school. Lewis and Clark. I don't know David if you have uh, if you know where I think we talked about this. You probably know where Lewis and Clark is in Lake Oswego, right? We talked about this before. Uh, no, it's not cherry tea. Actually, it's a very interesting tea, which I was meaning to to actually tell you what it is. See, here's the here's the package of it. This tea is <laughs> unbelievable stuff in it. Who would have thought there's carrot in this? <laughs> Carrot, candied ginger, beetroot, pumpkin, hibiscus, orange peel, marigold, marigold blossoms, safflower, safflower petals, and natural flavoring. Hmm. And actually, <laughs> I enhanced it. Beside all these things, I added chamomile, uh, you know, bulbs in this, and it's now perfect for me. Mmm. Nice. Nice. <laughs> really nice. On a day like this, it's sunny but a bit chilly, and it's a little bit cozy. It's one of those kind of beverages that you want to have with. I don't know, cuddle up with a favorite book of yours or just do some work or just be one with the nature. <laughs> Stephanie, yes, it, it is actually yummy. Uh, I don't like sweet teas or anything, but, and I just found out last night that it has candied ginger, but it's not sweet. It's it's very refreshing. It's something like fruity, yet it's not really fruity. It's like more carroty, <laughs> vegetable. <-y. laughs> Linda, hello dear. From Bronx, New York. Good to see you. And so we have. So let's see who else is joining us. Anyhow, while we're waiting for others to join us, I'm a little bit, I broke the tradition a little bit early today. I remember when we started this um, live talks last June, I believe, June or July, not last, June or July before last, in other words, a year and a bit ago, a year and a few months ago, we had, um, what was I going to say? Where was I going with this? <laughs> me, me and my <laughs> memory again. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll probably remember what I wanted to say. Um, I forgot. Okay, so, <laughs> so I don't know what the train of thought was that we're going to say something about it. We have a saying that says, if you forget what you want to say, it probably wasn't important. <laughs> <laughs> probably wasn't, but I thought it was interesting, something, what the heck was it? So while we're waiting for others to join us, you guys can simply, uh, Throw in a question that you have on thoughts, consciousness, fear, ego, desire. Anything to do with your breakups, relationships, matters of psyche, so we can discuss. Talking about pleasure, joy, boredom. Um, so, the, the floor is open. <laughs> <clears throat> 
fix this a little bit. Is uh, resolution and picture okay, guys? Hello, Don. Good to see you here. Yeah, uh, this is what I wanted to say. I remembered a year ago or so when we started this. Uh, we were starting at 8.30 in the morning. And uh, it was good, but in a while I felt, well, you know, I'm sleeping late and getting up early in the morning. Maybe many people on Sunday morning are sleeping. However, <clears throat> we had lots of viewers at the time. Now we've progressed into a little bit later and later and we got to the, you know, 12 o'clock or 12.30 eventually, even uh, at noon, a little afternoon on Sundays. And today, I thought we start a earlier, like, you know, 10.45, but I started even earlier than that for two reasons. One is that I was up anyhow. <laughs> Second, I have an appointment later on. <laughs> and third, <laughs> we just try and see, you know, if it would, <laughs> it would hit the better, uh, more convenient timing. <laughs> more convenient timing. Uh, for everyone, everyone else. Now, let's see. Let's see, okay. Stephanie says, this is the week I had my breakup a year ago. I can't seem to move on. Oh, all right. But you said a, the magic word, right? I can't seem to move on means it's just an illusion for you that you can't move on you, you can it's all in here all you have to do is says I don't have to not move on I want to move on I want to free myself to the nature I want to free myself to the opportunities I want to move on I want to see what life is all about because it is rather unreasonable to think that this whole world and its complexity and opportunities and energy flowing through it, all the things that grow and develop in this world, things that happen, um, the happenings, the momentary things, the changes, interactions, negotiations, with all of that can be condensed to one relationship. That even that is broken up. One broken, not working relationship. I mean, it is not neither fair nor logical mostly not fair to you to to allow the the chance and opportunity of a lifetime a lifetime you have and one chance the way we know it to be here to to develop to expand your horizons to learn to experience become one with life itself the happenings of life. You condense it all in one relationship and feel like that's it. There's no other thing in this life but this relationship. Let me just just think about it. Is it reasonable to think that all there is in this world or all there could be is that one relationship that didn't work. Why? Is it the relationship and the person really that wonderful or amazing that you can't move on from that person? Or is it the fact that your value judgment and your desire is responsible to make that person so valuable to you? Because remember, we talked about it before. Is it the apple? that is so wonderful and amazing qualities or is it your desire and hunger that makes the apple to become so wonderfully desirable and valuable for that we can imagine if you're walking and you're hungry and you see an apple in the store you say wow you're willing to pay i don't know ten dollars for that apple, or whatever it is because you're hungry so your hunger suddenly gave more value than the apple, which is usually, I don't know, maybe a dollar. But you're willing to pay $10. So suddenly, not even you, the apple became valuable, you are also willing to pay more money for it. So you increased, enhanced its value. 
Let's see what, what happened here. We got frozen here. I don't know if you guys still... Can you guys send me a thumbs up or something that I can see if it's still working? Or should I start all over because I'm frozen here? Somebody tell me if you're still... Um, you can still hear me. Ah, okay. So you guys can still hear me. I'm just frozen. Okay, I don't know what <laughs> So getting back to what we were saying. But now, imagine you just came out of... Disrupted you. Oh, are we here? Again, I need your input to see if I'm if I'm here or not. Let me start over. 